If I practice a certain skill set, will I get better? With the driver, I'm trying to get on a 45 degree angle. I'm entering that 45s right at the top there. And my face aligns with the two. So what are the results when I take it out to the range? It's 40 degrees. It's marshmallow range balls. Well, for strikes are just dead straight and long. All I'm doing is the same exercise I was doing at home. I'm tracing the club head along that entry point on the top there, right there, and aligning that face. Same way I did on the TV at home. I'm preparing myself for the spring. Each club is different, of course, and they're on different planes. But I always did best when my club follows the 45. It's really in an arc. It's not a straight line, as you can see there. It's an elbow plane. And if you watch carefully, it's the elbow, then it's the forearm, the hand. They all hit that 45 line at some point. So I just randomly grabbed another swing. And the program I used offsets the golfer a bit so that you can see and compare. Two totally different swings, 20 some minutes apart. But you'll see that because I've grooved the motion that I can hit my parameters. And slightly different flights, but that's where it hit on the face. One was a little higher on the face. One was dead in the center. They're slightly off in the frame. But overall, they're pretty much the same swing. It's repeating, in other words. And that's really the secret is to practice so you repeat your swing. You keep your center of mass in the right places and that's on the club. You keep it behind your hands because the club head will follow your hands. And then you crack the whip at the bottom. Golf's not hard unless you make it hard. They're simple principles, followed up by science and physics, which is, of course, science. Have a good season, everyone.